Disclaimer, the following footage contains opinions of myself and a friend. These are not to be taken as facts and are no way intended to be facts. These are opinions and should be taken as such. Your opinion may differ, and that is absolutely fine. Thank you. Hello. Tier list. S, A, B, C, D, and N, A. You know the drill by now. How many of these have we done on the channel? Never mind. We are joined by Quinn. Hello. And we're going to get right to this. Um, this is one of two British uh, snack food slash snack food and drink ones. Uh, snack food and drink is this one. And then we're going to do another more food oriented one next time. So watch out for that one. Um, getting right off to the bat. I think that's peanuts. What the fuck is Mr. Porky? I'll tell you later. That's, I don't know what that is actually. Going to be completely honest. Yeah. Starting off strong with an N.A. Um, that is like a mini pepperoni. Oh, It's like okay. pepperoni in a mini sausage form. You get like packs of six. You tear one, right. put it in a lunchbox, and you can just have it as a sort of straw thing. Yep. I'm going to put What's those... What's your opinion on those? They're going to go to B. They're nice. <laughs> they're quick. They're easy. They mm -hmm. they just don't have much flavour, in my opinion. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, fig, fig rolls. Bars. Fig oh, rolls. Fig bars. Oh, rolls. <laughs> we call them bars here. Fig bars. Fair. Those are absolutely divine. The best part is, they've got yeah, fruit in them. Awesome. <laughs> so those go into the A tier. I'm saving S tier for a couple of things that are very close <laughs> to my heart. Teddy uh, Grahams! Teddy Grahams! I don't actually know what those are. You'll have to do that one. Tell me what they are. Teddy Grahams. Teddy Grahams are so good. They're, they're little, they're little um, crackers, right? They kind of are a mix of graham cracker and cracker, so they're like hard... But they they they've got like sugar on them and beat like, it. <laughs> cinnamon and ooh. ooh, nice sugar rush warning. Um, dip dab, dip dab. I think what? that is. I don't know what that is. Is that like a lollipop? I have no idea. Um, what the fuck is y'all's obsession with pigs? I don't know, but I'm gonna take those more on the face value of we're talking like pattern sweets in general. Um, yeah. Because those are those are commonly sort of foamy sweets, so you get like foam bananas, oh. etc., like foam uh, foam mushrooms oh, and things. Like, so I'm oh, yeah, I I'm gonna, I'm going to take that to be sort of foamy sweets, mm -hmm. um, and those are actually quite nice. So I'm going to put those in the B tier. Mm -hmm. Reason being, you get the nice texture; they're very quick to melt in your mouth, and they are they're not as bad. We'll say. Uh, yeah. Bassets, black licorice, all sorts. Into the D tier with you. Uh, <laughs> what on earth is this? I don't know what that is. Next. Uh, Revels. Again, no idea what that is. Bounty! D tier. Um, Gross. Twiglets. Now, Twiglets, you've heard of Marmite, yes? Uh, yes. Actually, I'm going to subtly change the order of this. Marmite. D tier. Fucking gross. I've had it. Okay. My, my friend brought a jar of it to school, right? So, and I tried some. So oh my God. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this now. On the fly, we may be adding an F, F tier. Um, <laughs> because Twiglets... You know how I said you get breadsticks, right? Uh-huh. Twiglets uh -huh. are very, very thin breadsticks. They're like bread... You know how you said you get those, um, okay, so think very, think like spaghetti, okay, mm -hmm. but slightly wavy spaghetti, they're about a quarter of the length. Marmite oh, no. flavour. <laughs> Make an app to you right now. <laughs> oh dear, I knew that was coming. Uh, Add a row below. We'll do that. Add row below. Um... We're going to make that the the F tier. We're going to make that the darker green. And we're going to throw Twiglets in the F tier. Get out. I hate Twiglets with a burning passion. Um, it sounds so gross. 
Okay, so, wagon wheels. Now, these are essentially very big and round um, wheels with mm. either a biscuit or a cream filling covered in chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to put them in the B tier mm -hmm. because they're not... Actually, I'm going to put them in A. They're nice. Don't They mm -hmm. are very nice and you get so many different flavours on there's, them. There's, I, I see something that is going in S tier. <laughs> uh huh. We'll see. Um, mm -hmm. What's that? I can't tell what that is. No clue. Um, oh, I think that might be Angel Delight. Um, mm -hmm. I've had that, but it's a long time ago and I can't remember it, so uh, not applicable. Yeah. These. Now, these are. Um, So they, um, you know how you get the sort of uh, love hearts that we had in one of our previous oh, ones? Oh, ew, ew. But they're a smaller version uh, of that same candy type or sweet type. D tier, gross, ew. D tier. Ugh, I'm going to put them in C. They're quite nice, yeah, actually. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're nice. They're not as bad. They do actually pack okay. flavor, but okay. they're not as disastrous. That was more the texture. Mm-hmm. Okay, next up, custard creams. Mm -hmm. So these are two biscuits, or two two right. plain biscuits, with a layer of buttercream in the middle. Ooh. You know what buttercream is, yes? Mm hmm They're going to go into the B tier. They're nice, don't get me wrong, but they are... Uh, not as good as some others that I have. Uh... Custard would do better in like a donut. I like custard donut. Yeah, but it's not custard. It's just the name custard cream. It's it's more butter. Oh, yeah. It's like buttercream, not custard. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, custard in donuts is nice. Uh, I'd much prefer jam in my donuts though. Um, oh. Hula hoops. Now I told you about hula hoops last time. Yes. Hula hoops. Essentially, they are rings, like actual rings. Uh, of potato that are then fried. They're quite thick, mm. uh, flavouring adhered to both sides. And the whole idea is that young children can put them on their fingers and uh, eat them. Now, that's all well and good until you get to about six or seven years old and they won't fit on your fingers anymore. So for that reason, they're going to go into the C tier. They are bland, but they still they still have some flavour, but they don't have much of it. Walker's Crisps in all its forms. Mm. Now, Walker's Crisps are absolutely divine. Salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, uh, ready salted even, prawn cocktail, to name a few. Absolutely divine. For that reason, they're going in the S tier. I want, I want to try some of the British flavors of those because those are essentially Lay's and I love Lay's. Yeah, we'll have to, at some point, Quinn, we'll have to, like, we'll have to get, like, a snack pack together for each other and mm -hmm. send it. Mm -hmm. But aerial shipping is going to be a pain. Yeah. Uh, and of course, because it's likely to, some some of it's likely to be perishable, we can't really send it over the ship, over with a ship. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, McCoy's, I think that is. Mm -hmm. So McCoy's, I'm going to check, what quality am I streaming to you actually, Quinn? That would be something worth checking. Stream quality, uh, ah, that would probably explain why you're not having a good enough time reading it. Let me just, uh, Enjoy when enjoy uh twenty twenty one sixty p at sixty frames per second. <laughs> it's lagging out right now. Oh, it's lagging out. Okay, let's not yeah. do that. Let me drop it to fifteen then, because you don't need sixty for this. That should be slightly better. <laughs> uh, nope. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna leave and rejoin. No, no, stay safe. Oh, no. Say again. Mm, never mind. Oh. Okay. There we go. That should be better. I've tanked. I've gone gone down to 1080 instead of source yep. because source was uh, base. That's basically 4K. That's half of yeah. 4K HD, uh, which I is continue. ultra high definition, which you don't need. Uh, McCoy's crisps. So they are basically uh, they're basically Walker's crisps, but ridge cut. Oh. Which basically means that they are. If you hold out your hand, right. Uh -huh. you, you see how if you put your hand together, your fingers make a... Oh, no, I know what you're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. entirely, because that's what ruffles are. Oh, okay. They just pack so much flavor, they're going in the ester. 
Yeah. They'd, they'd, they'd get it so much flavor. Uh, Freddy the Frog, Dairy Milk. Dairy Milk, Freddy the Frog. Nice, but bland. Mm. See tier. That's essentially the the child's version of a dairy milk bar. Oh, yeah. It is essentially an excuse for Cadbury to get kids hooked on Cadbury chocolate <laughs> from a very early age. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. S tier. S tier. Oh, yeah. Right the fuck now. Right the fuck now. <laughs> Ferrer Rocher. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's um, actually Quinn. Do you want to explain it? Uh, yes. Okay, so it's it's multiple layers of like candy, right? Right. Or you're like chocolate, right? Right, right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the outside is like a like um crispy chocolate flavor, kind of like a crunch bar, but better quality chocolate, right? Mm-hmm. Um the next layer is is like m- more chocolate, and then there's um, a little um, like take the crunch, um, like the stuff they put in crunch on its own without the chocolate. Mm-hmm. Put it in a layer, and then inside that layer is Nutella and um, Ooh. and hazelnut. Very nice. That's so- the best way to explain it. So I'm going to give you a very horrible uh, trick or treat uh, that you can do with Ferrer Rocher. I think I've given you this before. Um, But you can, well, not you can, it has been done before. Um, If you take the Ferrer Rocher, remove it from the wrapper, prepare a chocolate uh, glaze, Mm -hmm. cook up some Brussels sprouts... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> douse the Brussels sprouts in chocolate wait for them to dry and wrap them up in the Ferrer Rocher things and then put them back in the tray that is the meanest thing ever yep it is absolutely horrible um no Fanta no that's not Fanta that's not Fanta is it actually it is Fanta oh it is yeah yeah if that's Fanta then that's going in the ATA. Yeah, it's either A or S. I Any love lower Fanta. than that, you're not human. I love Fanta. Uh, my favourite mm-hmm. two flavours of Fanta are the Fruit Twist, red, and the lemon, or the cream. Uh, oh. Y'all have different flavours than us. Yeah. The ones we have in the UK, we have orange, which is their traditional. Mm-hmm. We have uh, Fruit Twist, red. Mm-hmm. And we have lemon, which is a sort of yellowy, creamy one. I want the lemon one. I want the <laughs> lemon one. Replace the lemon one. Or replace the fucking pineapple one they have here with the lemon. You have a pineapple? Because, yeah, it's so gross. Crikey. Our flavors are orange. In orange, obviously. Mm-hmm. Strawberry and red. Strawberry is my favorite. I think that might be fruit twist more than anything else. Or is that... Oh, no, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll let you go. Strawberry. strawberry. Um, There's pineapple, which is yellow. Fucking disgusting. Grape, which is purple, obviously. Fucking disgusting. And blue raspberry, which is blue. Or it's like some kind of berry. It's something berry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But I prefer orange. Yeah. Okay, what do we got next? Uh, jelly Babies. Nice. A tier. I've I, heard those are really good. I like the texture of them. You get this. Mm-hmm. They're like gummy bears, but they're not. Mm-hmm. Because you have a jelly. You've got the jelly that's been molded. And then you have this different textured outer layer that's then just finely dusted in sugar. So what Oh you have, my fucking God. So what you have when you bite into it is you have that like textured outside, which then dissolves into the middle, which is just divine. If you, if we ever do that thing where we uh, make boxes for each other and shit, right? <laughs> yeah, you're sending me some of those. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might say that. Um, <laughs> okay, what do we got next? Uh, I think sparkling water. 
Yes, that is sparkling water. It's going to get F C. Here. I'm going to put it C. <laughs> because while, while plain and standard, mm -hmm. it's not as bad as some of the other things that we have here. Oh, true. It's not as bad as Marmite. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, if we're doing this on a sort of comparing it to everything else in the tier, sparkling, mm -hmm. sparkling mineral water is nowhere near Marmite. Um, Marmite. Marmite should actually, have its own tier. I'm I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna move that down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Licorice is going in the F tier. Iron oh, brew. Yeah. Now iron brew is a lovely one from Scotland. Um Ooh. when I was in year six, grade five, we had this uh thing for Burns Night, which is a Scottish uh thing. Mm. And the my teacher we had this like party in the classroom mm -hmm. because we'd done everything and it was like an hour before we had to leave. And the teacher brought in stuff like haggis uh, and crisps and they brought mm -hmm. in some iron brew as well. It's like a set, yeah. it's like a bit of iron tasting, but you've also got orange. It's hey, gonna maybe, get... maybe Aster would like that. Possibly actually, it's gonna get the C tier. I didn't not like it. Oh, I just made a joke she's going to get so pissed at me for. How so? You ask her. No, <laughs> I don't even understand what the joke was, so... I know. You ask her about um, why Quinn thinks she'd like iron-tasting things. <sighs> oh, I think... Anyways, her... popcorn. One second, I'm going to literally message her right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm gonna get a damn and it's gonna be like, you fucker. You motherfucker. <laughs> For those of you who do not know, Aster, otherwise known as Rem or Flower Queen Rem, um, is one of our friends who is a big, well, sometimes a big part on, um, Red's channel and is one of our like one of his mods on Twitch. Quinn <laughs> <laughs> <and> check messages. <laughs> yeah, she's uh yeah. Okay. Um Rem just said metal. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just sent back not cardboard question mark <laughs> she's gonna murder me <laughs> she's gonna murder me for this um, <laughs> I just literally sent back not cardboard question mark slash LH <laughs> so I am about to get so murdered anyway okay. While I wait, for, while I wait for her to respond, uh, popcorn is next. That's going to go into the A tier. Theater popcorn. A tier. It's not mm -hmm. flavorful, but it's something. It's better than most things. Ribena, aka your typical black currant. Oh. Uh, it's basically our version of black currant juice. Oh. For that reason, I never. Uh, with the last, with the first time I had Ribena, I threw up. F tier. <laughs> oh God, ew. And I never oh. had Ribena afterwards. Um, Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Oh yeah, that's going in the B tier or A tier. B tier. Uh, Capri Sun are basically there's like mini juice packets. It's like two hundred. I'm actually going to bump it down to C tier. I'll explain why in a second. Um, so you have like two hundred milliliters of juice, right? Well, maybe even less. Um, and they give you a straw that you have to poke through a hole in the top. But the problem is, it is so easy to poke the straw through the back of the thing and end up with a through and through cut. So, I am that, it loses points for usability. <laughs> we have a lot of those juice packets around here. <laughs> Turkish. Mm hmm Okay. Turkish, again? Turkish? Is that Turkish? 
Uh-huh. I don't know. Yeah. I've never had it. Na. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so going going back to the conversation with Rem, uh, she said. Uh, I asked not what why not cardboard when she said yum to metal, uh, and I sent back legitimately cardboard is too, uh, she sent back uh, legitimately cardboard is too thick and papery compared to metal, which is a light cooler, a lot cooler I think in taste, while it has a very dis- a, a light cooler in taste as it, while it has a very distinctive taste. I I I think um I think autocorrect. A little yeah, a but little come on. Side. Come on. Okay, uh, Skittles, beat it. Mm-hmm. Um, nice, but can get quite bland. Mm-hmm. At some points. Um, Doritos, I'm going to envelop that to be all Doritos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and overall, they're not bad. They're, they're not bad as a, a classic thing. My favourite ones are either the cool, the cool cheese, like the just the cheese one what? that you oh, you can get one that's like extra. Che- yeah, um, well it's nacho cheese, so get your hands off. Um, oh. And um, and the sort of blue one as well. Um, I think I'm gonna put it in the C tier because there's so many different variants and they all balance each other out. Yeah. Um. Wine gums. Now, I've actually had those when I've been streaming before. They are effectively little gummies that are different flavours and different shapes. Oh. So things like blackcurrant, strawberry, orange, lemon, uh, apple, I think, etc. Right. Okay, uh, so I'm going to put those in the B tier. Mm-hmm. Um, and next up, drumsticks. Oh, what are those? I haven't had those. Um, mm-hmm. a monster Mash. Or Monster Munch, rather. Um, they're not bad. Going to put it out there. They're not bad. They're different. They're different flavors. We'll say. Uh, would you like? To, would you like to hear some of the uh, unique flavors of monster monster of uh, monster munch? Sure. sure. Let's see, monster munch flavors. Let's see what we find on uh, Brave Search. Um, mm. Flavors include roast beef. Pickled onion and flaming hot. That doesn't sound awful. They're not too bad. Let, let me let me just quickly see if I can find sort of a whole list of uh, flavors. Uh, there's spicy flavor baked corn. Um, Okay, there's all sorts of things. Uh, monster, ma- monster crunch, uh, monster munch. I'm gonna get so turned around by that. Um, mm. <laughs> um, what were we dealing with that sparked the whole conversation? Uh, iron brew. No fucking clue. Yeah. Oh, iron brew. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's let's not get sidetracked. Yeah. Uh, Let's just leave that alone now. We're going to put that conversation oh, wait. over. Actually, she uh, she just suggested we do a serial tier, tier list. we got to do that. Oh, we're doing that. We're going to add that yeah. to our list of things to record tonight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm just literally going to go. Um, hang on. Um, we should we should get to this so that it doesn't drag on too long. Uh, yeah, we're at twenty five minutes. Let's quickly finish this up. Um, Monster Munch is gonna go to C tier. It's fine. Flavors are interesting, but they're not too bad. 
Um, Pringles. Oh my god. Since there are two flavours, I'm going to envelop all flavours of Pringles. Yeah. They're pretty nice. They are I really think nice. they're better than Doritos. I'm going to agree with you. If I'm being completely because honest. Because the flavours are more tame, right? But mm-hmm. there's they have enough flavour to where it's not overwhelming, but it's good. It's a mix of it. Do you want to know a little trick that you can do Mm. with Pringles? Mm -hmm. So when you have Pringles, in the UK anyway, they typically have one end of a Pringle, which has not got a lot of flavour, and one end Mm. that is absolutely caked in it. Mm -hmm. But that's actually quite nice. you scrape it to the side? No. I just... Oh. I basically... I basically hold it by the end that hasn't got all the powdery flavouring on it, nibble away at the at the bit that's got all the flavouring on it, so I enjoy all the flavour, and then have the rest of it. <laughs> They're going to go into the S tier, because they are absolutely mm-hmm. divine. Um, mm-hmm. And then, um, what have we got here? Um, I'm going to do this one. This Nature Valley, uh, they are, from what I remember, like gr- granola so slash messy. flapjacks. They're so messy. They're quite crumbly, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're going to go to the D tier for that. They get knocked off points. Okay, wait. <laughs> Put them in C because they actually, I, those shouldn't go in the same thing as Marmite. That's fair. That's fair. But they actually do, they, they taste great. It's just they're too messy and just a hassle. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Uh, while we, while I'm just quickly responding to something, can you just tell me, can you just work out what these three are, please? <laughs> no fucking clue. Fair enough. Um, I know. Give me, one, give me one moment. Uh, okay. Um, so this one I can tell you is cocktail sausages. They're like mm. mini sausages that you can put on a tray and have at a party. They're like... Oh, yeah, you could put them... You can also put them on toothpicks and you can do things with them. Yes. Yeah. They're going to go into the into the B tier. Nice. Mm-hmm. Versatile. Um, this are, these are scotch eggs. Scotch egg. You have mm. your egg... Like your literal egg, your your yolk, and your egg, which has been hard boiled. Right. Uh, actually, no. You, well, you can depending on the manufacturer, but when I've had it, it's been like a sort of scrambled egg mix. But it doesn't matter. Um, then you get a thick layer of sausage meat, wrap it up, make a ball, breadcrumb it, bake it. Mm. They're really nice. Um, and technically, they count as a meal, according to UK law. Uh, oh. Don't ask. Uh, uh, well, I'm going to say this now. This is not legal advice. Um, according to my, uh, according to a news story I read recently, um, they technically do count. Because there was this whole mess when we were opening up in 2020. I say 2020 because it's, well, we, we were in lockdown. And then we opened back up in 2020. Yeah but not for uh, drinks, not for going yeah. out for drinks initially. You could just go out for a meal. Um, mm-hmm. But apparently someone classified a scotch egg as a, uh, a main, uh, some of the law apparently classified serving a scotch egg as a meal. So people were just mm-hmm. going out in their dr- in droves to order a scotch egg and a beer. Oh, <laughs> Which was actually quite hilarious to th- to read mm-hmm. about. And Scotch eggs are actually really nice. They're going to go into the A tier. Yeah. I can't work out what that is, so unfortunately that's going to go yeah. into the N A tier. Um, Alrighty. So, another was- tier list down. <laughs> that was the uh, British Snacks and Drinks tier list. Uh, definitely some interesting ones. Um, any that you were surprised about, Quinn? really not really but like i i yeah um i feel like Ferrero rocher should have its own fucking tier 
Mm -hmm. But like, let's not do that right now. Yeah, let, let's just leave that alone because we're already here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the episode is already half an hour long. It's literally just yeah. ticked over. Let's call it there. Uh, this yeah. has been Quinn and Redstone. We've been doing uh, a tier list of British snacks and drinks. God save the Queen and all of that jazz. Um, tell us what you thought of this in the comments. If you do things differently, if you'd move things around or if it's pretty much how you do it. Uh, also... Marmite is really sort of love it or hate it. Do you love it or do you hate it? Tell me your review in the comments. Thank you very much, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye. Say bye, Quinn. All right, bye. <laughs>